your time your time is not your time and i'm going to explain to you why and give you some examples why your time is not your time in this working world the day was meant to be broken up into three sections eight hours sleep eight hours work and eight hours of your time it was meant to be your time but everything gets eaten up into your time i'm going to give you some examples of when your time is supposed to be it is supposed to be before or after work whenever you choose it is it is your choice it's supposed to be on your lunch break it's supposed to be on your breaks at work that you are entitled to and now i'm going to explain to you why that this is not the case this is not your time I'll go for the, the smallest one first and work up to the build, uh, the biggest impact on your life. So the smallest one is those 10 minute breaks that you get at work. When you're at work and you are given a 10 minute break, you are encouraged to prepare to go back to work. When I've got a 10 minute break at work, I have to go, right, I've got three or four jobs to do to get out of the way before I can go back to work. That's not a break. That's an extension of work. It's an extension of work. I have to go back to work. I'm more rushed on break than I am actually working and doing my job i do my job to the best of my ability but when i go on break i'm like right i've got to do this 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 and this before i go back to prepare myself for work i've got to make a hot drink i've got to get some food i've got to go to the toilet i've got to do all this and rush through it before i can go back to work that is not a break that is a preparation for work that's not my time the same on lunch the same goes for lunch i need to prepare some food i need to go to the toilet i need some drinks i need to get all my drinks ready for when i go back to work this is preparation to go back to work this is not a break a break should be my time to do what i want and just chill out and relax and decompress and even that is to go back to work but we all want to be a bit less wound up and a bit more decompressed so those are your breaks after work you have no energy you go home and sit on the sofa put netflix on and watch tv there's many great things to watch on netflix that's no diss to netflix i like streaming services but you go home because you have no energy if this was the life you chose and you could live and do whatever the hell you want for the rest of your life do you think you'd sit on the sofa and watch netflix that is my point proven my point proven is that you would not be doing this if you had the energy you would be going out traveling you'd be going out walking spending time with family with friends these are the things that you're most likely to to do or something else whatever your preference is you'll be doing what you want to do because you have no energy you go home sit on the sofa and watch tv you do all the chores all the things that prepare your home for the week ahead you have let's say you may work monday to friday on the evenings you relax because you need to decompress and regain your energy on the saturday you've mounted up all those chores that you could have been doing in the week but you couldn't because you had no energy and you were working on saturday you now have to go through all those chores you have to do a food shop you have to clean the house you have to do all these extra things that you could just naturally do through the week just a little bit here and there because you'd have loads of energy through the week on Sunday, you might get some rest. I doubt it, but if you do get some rest on a Sunday, just think of what I just told you that is. What you're doing on a Sunday, you are resting. You're resting because you have no energy. You're resting to prepare to go back to work. This is all your time. There's barely any time that is actually your time. You could probably go as far as saying about one or two hours a day is actually your time if you have the energy. If you are working really hard, let's say you're a nurse or a laborer or doing something that is really, really taxing, you may actually have absolutely zero time left in your day. So your time is not your time. That is proof that your time is not your time. I'm going on and um, having a and a moan about not having the right time. So I'm going to present you with a solution. I'm not just going to and moan. I'm going to give you a solution. The solution is to retire early, to not work to prepare yourself so financially so you are ready to quit your job you don't need to work and you can live a rich and fulfilling life you might think well that's easier said than done isn't it no not really i have a course in the description below that explains all of this how to do it i am a certified financial planner i can and my strategies can help you retire early this is no messing about this is not just some some guy who thinks he knows what he's on about i have high certifications as a financial planner i've passed those exams i've done those studies i know those strategies so go to the link in the description below this promo code net for 20 percent off see what i did there little lesson for you net is after tax you've already paid 20 percent on your tax now i'm going to give you that 20 percent that you've already paid i'm going to give you that off 
in that course below the course is by Payhip and it is by Vikings University click on the link below go to the course take the course and retire early and live a fulfilling life can you really afford not to when I'm talking about your time and how you don't have any time it's not really your time can you really afford not to not to retire early one day you will die this is ominous one day you will die i'm 35 and one day i will die between the age of now at 35 and the day i die i want to live a rich and fulfilling life i don't want to be working full time all the time this is a problem i want to spend time with my friends and my family and go traveling and have all those experiences that i can take to my grave that is what i want so really, can you afford not to retire early? Ask yourself this, can I afford not to retire early? Can I afford not to retire early? That's the thing, a lot of people are asking yourself, I can't afford to retire early. Can you afford not to retire early? Really think about that. Can you afford not to retire early? I'm repeating it because you really need to ask yourself this deep down. Can you afford not to retire early? Live that fulfilling life. Your friends, you owe it to yourself. It's an honorable goal to retire early. Oh, you owe it to yourself. You owe it to your life. You owe it to your experience in life. You owe it to yourself to retire early. I hope this video is relatable. I'm sorry it's a bit of a downer one. I'm sorry I'm the bearer of bad news. I didn't create the bad news. I'm just the messenger here. I'm telling you the bad news, but I am giving you the solution. If this message resonates with you in any way, please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell. I will be giving you so much more free information on helping you retire early. If the course is not for you, then this YouTube channel is absolutely going to be for you. So like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you see these videos first that come to you first on how to retire early, financial planning strategies. And if you're interested in my journey, where I began, how I started this whole process on YouTube, click on this video here and you can see my journey from the start.